Once again, I thank you for being mindful of, of, of the, the blue pen. Okay, um, this is some of my favorite stuff. Uh, let's do nuclear reactions. Okay, uh, here's an example of a nuclear reaction. This is really an alpha particle. Okay, hitting uh, nitrogen 14, and if you do that, you can make oxygen 17, and then give off a proton. This is really just a proton. Okay, now uh, let me just show you something here. Uh, when we do this, the charge and the nucleon number are conserved. So the, the proton number here, there's 2 and there's 7. That adds up to 9, right? 2 plus 7 is 9, and 8 plus 1 is 9, right? 8 plus 1 is 9. And then on the top here, 17 plus 1 is 18. 14 plus 4 is 18. So these things are, are deadly simple to balance. It's always true that, the, that these guys add up on, on both sides of the equation these guys are going to add up on both sides, okay? Um, and then here's a little thing. We don't write them like that. That's how uh, uh, chemists write equations, but these are nuclear reactions, and so we have to, we have to be paid a little more money. So we, we create this way of writing the reaction so that nobody can really understand us. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Uh, but this is how they do it. This is, in general, what it is, right? It's the initial nucleus, the final nucleus, right? That's the big thing, right? Uh, and then this is the particle that, that is bombarding, probably from a particle accelerator or something, right? Um, and then this is the particle that's given off, right? And sometimes that's nothing. Sometimes it's a like a gamma ray or something like that. Here are the particles. So write these down. An alpha particle is 4,2. We just look up helium, right, when we do the reaction. A proton is, is a 1,1, one, one, right? It's one nucleon. One of them is protons, right? Deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen. So that's 2, 1, right? We can remember that because that means 2, and tritium is 3, right? So that's an isotope of hydrogen with two neutrons. This is one neutron, right? A neutron is a 1, 0, right? It's one nucleon, but no protons, right? That's number of protons and neutrons, and that's number of protons, right? And then a gamma ray, that's the trick question, right? It's nothing. It's just energy, right, given off. And then here's a little, here's a deal, right? As we go from the left side to the right side, okay? If, it, if, it, if, if the mass is lost, if you lose mass, right? If you lose mass, well, mass and energy are conserved, right? So therefore, where did the mass go? It goes to energy, right? So lose mass is exoergic, like exhale. We can remember that, right? If you exhale, you breathe out, right? And then um, if, it's, if, it, if it gains mass, if the right side has more mass, okay? If when you go from left side to right side, you gain mass, then it's endoergic, right? And you can remember that too, because you exhale, but you also inhale. <laughs> I'm gonna inhale. Okay, just kidding. Bill Clinton didn't inhale. Does anybody get that joke? Okay, um, and then, you know, <clears throat> does endoergic doesn't mean it doesn't, it can't happen, it just means it requires energy. That's what we have particle accelerators for. Okay, particle accelerators are to um, give them enough kinetic energy, and then that energy turns into mass. In fact, that's the whole purpose of particle accelerators is to create things that require a lot of energy. Okay, uh, here is a, a an example of a reaction, and here's how it would be written, right? But I I was nice enough to write this whole thing up there. Here's what you do: is you go question mark. Right, and then we're going to fill in the box here, fill in the box here with its numbers, right? And then a neutron, remember, is a 1, 0, right? Turns into a 1, 1 proton, right? Plus 14, 6, carbon 14, right? So let's figure this guy out. This is 14 and 1, right? So that's going to be 14 and 1, right? This is one and six is seven, so this guy's gotta be seven, right? And then if you don't know that nitrogen is element seven, you need a periodic table, and you look it up. You look it up on the chart of the nuclides, okay? But there it is, so this is your, this is a, an example of what we're gonna do in the example problems, okay? Just write it out like that, okay? These are fun.